After giving it a lot of thought, I finally made my commitment. I'll be continuing my basketball career at UCLA. Now initially, I was wanting to defer college and instead play in the G League, but my mom put an end to that idea immediately. See, a big part of me choosing to play on the West Coast was having the opportunity to reconnect with my father. I haven't seen him in years, and honestly, he's never even seen me play basketball. My dad is a retired gangster who, you know, I guess is trying to get his life back in order. We recently began speaking again and he begged me to come play on the West Coast, I guess so he can have another chance of being in my life. I agreed to stay with him through the summer and my first semester of college. My flight leaves in a few hours and as you can see, I'm still not packed yet. Let me go ahead and get started. It is very hard to see my son go, but it's time for him to go and experience life on his own. It's been just the two of us for the past few years since my mother's passing, so being alone is going to take some getting used to. I am capable of doing a lot of remarkable things, but I cannot raise a boy to be a man. I think allowing him to have a relationship with his father will be the most important thing I can do for him as a mother. I'm sure I'm gonna miss my baby. Now ground rule number one, cause I see you ain't learned yet, take them shoes off. Number two, don't knock on my door more than four times. Number three, if you see multiple women in here on different days, no you didn't. And number four, you get one cup. Don't you be messing up all my cups, I don't want to see no extra cups on the counter. Well, I guess this is my new home for the next couple months. It's definitely going to take some getting used to. <laughs> I could tell already me and Pop's going to be bumping heads, but... I think that's kind of expected. I'm excited to be here and all, but I can't help but think about my mom's being all alone, man. Damn. My pops had an old car sitting in the garage that he wasn't driving. So y'all know I asked about it. He told me if I can get it running, I could drive it. So y'all know what time I was on. Turns out all it needed was some new spark plugs and a fresh car wash then I was in business. He had a nice set of rims in there too, so you know those got put on immediately. See, I think he bought all of this stuff because he knew I was coming, but he's slick trying to play like it's just been sitting there. Hey man, either way, I'm grateful to have a new ride, bro. I'm ready to get in traffic. I kept trying to tell this man I already know how to drive and I already have my driver's license. But he insisted that if I'm going to be listed on his car insurance, I have to pass driver's school first. He claims the traffic in New York is way different than the traffic in LA. They ended up giving me a foreign instructor and I'm 100% sure she didn't know what she was talking about, bruh. I swear this lady had me going 30 miles per hour on the highway. Every time I speed up a bit, she start checking off little boxes on her clipboard. Man, this is crazy. I finally got my L so y'all know the first place I went was down to the beach. I haven't done much since being here in town, but I'm really enjoying myself in Cali. When I announced I was here on Twitter, everybody insisted I go down to play a few games at the Drew League. At first I was against it, but after giving it a second thought, since I'm new here in town, I might as well go let my presence be felt. Yeah. 
This a heat check, I step back like Brian Brian Off the top bro, here comes the swan time Bond, bitch I'm feeling like I'm Jeff Hardy She asked me am I feeling pressured, I say bitch Hardy I'm in Venice rolling up, bumping Bob Marley Don't you worry about a thing, baby, tomorrow I promise I'm feeling like the greatest, that's if we being honest You were swimming with the fishes, I was with piranhas Yeah, that cloth we cut from, it's so different I seen the bitch trace early, shoulda kept my distance I seen you taking shots, but you never missed them You niggas bitches in disguise, you niggas moving different. Underrated though, I let them know It isn't just words, it's a spiritual Never talk about verbs like you bulletproof Boy, I made it so far with nothing to lose Keep my head above water, get in the pool Hotel five stars and came with a few I just did another show, that night was a movie Now she wanna come over with the exclusive yeah. Never pillow talking reckless I just tell her focus on yourself for like a second You'll enjoy the night and in the morning won't regret it Hit another country by tomorrow on the road, girl, I'm gone Man, I had no idea it was gonna be so many NBA players at the game it felt good playing up against tougher competition for a change. Now time to jump back into the real world. I knew moving here was gonna be tough, but I never expected this. See, my pops doesn't believe in the word student athlete. He says I have to get a part-time job to help with the bills. So not only do I have to balance school and basketball, but also now I gotta fit in time for work. I've never been so stressed, man. So I've been sneaking away lately to hit the wood. Our Midnight Madness game is next week, so sadly, this is probably gonna be my last time smoking. Maybe. Yes, Sersky! PFG family, man, we are finally here, bruh. It is finally time for our first college game. I mean, it's not really an official game. You know, it's just like a midnight madness, you know, just a little scrimmage. But we are finally here, man. But forget all that. I have to go ahead and address it, man. I have to acknowledge it. The channel has finally reached over 80 thousand subscribers bro 80,000 subscribers in less than 100 uploads like i haven't even hit 100 uploads and we have reached 80,000 subscribers so i just want to start off by saying thank you guys so so much like y'all don't know how much y'all mean to me y'all are literally my family bro like literally this is pfg family like i literally mean that so again i just want to say thank you so much there's so much more i have in store for this series and the other series and just the channel and starting a new channel like everything bro the good and the exciting part is we are just getting started so with that being said guys let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay man now guys it is very important i know i mentioned it before but it's very important in this series that you watch after the game as well because oftentimes on an episode like this being that it's just one quarter because it's a scrimmage i'll go ahead and add on some clips at the end of the episode but anyways i was thinking man this is just a scrimmage you know why not have a little bit of fun you know it's not too often that you get to this level and you can try new things so i throw the dime right there and i get the assist but on this next play coming down man watch this steal man watch, watch, watch these handcuffs i put on buddy it may have been a little foul but it's all good man but coming down in transition i pull up on my steph curry bag knock that boy down and hit him with the bees afterwards now guys again in this game man i'm not really playing for real man i'm having fun you know i'm just trying to test out my range see what all i got he gave me way too much space so i decided to pull it yes we missed it but it's all good because we coming right back i'm trying to get it back in blood man go ahead and call a quick isolation and pull up for three splash yes sir now guys i need two things from you man i need two things from y'all do me a favor and go ahead and comment down below should we turn on um the coaching to where the coach calls all the plays or do y'all like the isolation style basketball y'all let me know let me know down below and also what stats should we get in college what stats should we get in college i want to be realistic i ain't trying to have 48 points you know and 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 50 assists every game but yeah y'all let me know what type of stats should we get should we be an all-around player or should we focus on the scoring let me know in the comment section down below but here we go down in transition i should have dunked that thing but instead it's okay we'll display a little bit of finesse and get the and one now pay attention to this play because there's a huge difference between high school basketball and college basketball on the high school team i was basically the only option we had available but now here in college man we got other weapons other options and honestly i, I really want to see what we got because i'm not seeing too much i guess i'm kind of being a ball hog this game but i'm trying to i'm trying to win a championship before i get up out of here man i'm not trying to be if i'm gonna do if i'm gonna be a one and done if i'm gonna be a one and done i'm trying to leave with a ring man plain and simple bruh 
Now at the beginning of the game, I promised myself that at the two minute mark, I was getting nothing but assists. No points, nothing but assists, but I guess it's just the score in me, man. I just can't help it, but I get an assist right here, man, so I made up for it. I originally wanted to start the game with like a double-double, or excuse me, finish the game with a double-double, but I didn't know it was just one quarter, so it's all good. But right here on this play, it is just... <sighs> this this is kind of embarrassing. I really was just trying to find the assist, which is why I think I need to turn on the coaching mode to where the coach calls plays. Cause just this, this ISO thing, it's not very many assist options open. As you can see, I'm wide open for the score, but I damn near gotta make a bad pass to find the assist, man. But it's all good. It's all good. So moving forward, man, we come. I'm at the point where I know I'm not getting a double double, but I want that 20 ball, man. I missed it. But then I got in my bag and I said, if I don't get 20, I'm weak. If I don't get 20, I'm lame. Tell me in, man. Y'all know what time it is, bro. Ended up winning the game 35 to 4. It don't really matter, though. It was just a scrimmage. But the one thing I really got to give 2K his props on is the college experience. Like, the atmosphere is like none other. Uh, I finished with 20 points, 4 rebounds, and 5 assists. Also, 4 steals. Don't sleep on the steals and an A minus teammate grade. Don't sleep on the steals, man. But now let's go ahead and check on that draft stock because that's what's really important. You know, mama's still working. We got to get mama off her feet. We actually ended up moving in the draft stock stock you know we still just mid second round we got a few teams interested in this we got cleveland memphis atlanta uh the knicks and the pacers as well as detroit y'all do me a favor and comment down below again for me and let me know what nba team we should focus on let's go ahead and jump back into the story i stayed a while after the game to sit in the ice bath and look at some film by the time i left to head home it was almost 3 a.m but that's when something strange happened are y'all familiar with the LA rapper C Cash or Cash, maybe? Anyways, this man was waiting outside for hours. To be honest, I was low key kind of scared. I thought he was finna try to kill me or something, but he actually turned out to be a pretty cool dude. See, he kept offering me money and weed, which of course I declined. I mean, that was kind of weird, but he said if I need anything to go ahead and give him a call. I guess, I mean, the whole situation was pretty weird, but maybe people in LA are just friendly. <laughs> 